Why hello lovelies, it's Tracy. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and it's so good to see you because this is the first video I am Are you done? <laughs> it's the first video that I'm filming back since Beans got sick and she is just behind me over there sitting on Oh baby sitting on my little chair so I'll insert a video now of her for you so you can see her but you can see her nose there <laughs> oh wow good yawn she has her little shaved bits and um, she's definitely so much better than last week and I just want to quickly say verbally as well I did you know comment back and like pin comments and stuff to say thank you so much for all your amazing words of support and of kindness because you know I was so stressed during that um, time and my body is paying for it now like I came back from the doctor just before because I've been clenching my jaw so much that I can only open my jaw about that much. Like I can't open it anymore because it hurts so much. So that's sort of what I've been going through. So um, I was going to film yesterday as well, but that was when my jaw was at its most painful. So I just thought I would just edit and get those videos up for you guys. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so Beans is getting better. She's not 100% of what she used to be like, which that's completely understandable. She was very stressed and she hates the car. So putting her in her carrier and then taking her in the car with me by myself was so stressful because every time the car would start moving, she would try her hardest to get out. So she would be trying to rip at the cage. She would rub her nose raw where it would start bleeding because she just so desperately wanted to get out because she didn't understand what was happening because the car was moving but she's not so she didn't understand that situation so when we went to pick her up from her stay at the vet she was you know it's quite alert and everything but Simon's mum came with me to pick her up so that was so much less stressful because she drove and I sat in the back with beans and had her on my lap so she was just like she meowed a little bit but at least she wasn't clawing out the cage to try to get out um, so I had her harness on and just held her um, and just kept her from you know wandering around um, that way she would have been less stressed and that way I can just hold her and keep an eye on her and she was just really intrigued she would like do this on the little window and just see what's happening outside um, or she would just then lean on my arm and just like wait it out a bit so yeah so that was quite a good outcome because that made just her coming back home even that much more um, easier for her and she loved being at home like her little biscuits that she was doing um, when she came back home was so adorable and so cute and you can just tell she was so excited to be back in her own territory and her own surroundings with her bed and everything like that but yeah so so in the video there you can see her little nose which is usually black is white because she had rubbed it raw so much that it's now healing so hopefully it will grow back to what it used to be which is just an all black nose um, but she's done it a few times before and it's all healed quite well so hopefully it will heal quickly and that way she'll have all her skin <laughs> back but yeah she I'm just so thankful that she is all better and getting there and um, for all the support from you lovelies because seriously I really needed it. I was very depressed and sad and felt like it was all my fault and you know that 
um, you know, I should have done better or should have done this or whatever like that. But, you know, there was nothing really I could have done, but you still can't help but feel like that. And your words of support and well wishes really did mean the world to me. So thank you so much for that. And I hope to do the same for you. Like I'm always here for you and our community is here for you. So yeah. So if you need a hand, need to vent, please lean on us because we will be here for you. That being said, <laughs> the real reason why we're doing this video is also, you know, to update you on beans and everything, but also I got my first light stick. So I'm so excited because Dreamcatcher was the first group that I got into and got me back into K-pop. So I'm so excited to be unboxing my first light stick with you guys. And of course, it's one of the coolest looking light sticks. And this is definitely a box I'm going to keep. No doubt about it. Like, look, it's a coffin. How bloody cool is that? Okay, so I'm going to clear my desk, get a good angle of this, and let's just get to opening this up. Okay, so I hope this is a okay angle for you guys and everything. So yes, so I'll try my best to open this bad boy up without missing anything. Okay, so let's try to get this open, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. My god, this like shrink wrap is absolutely intense. <laughs> like it's so strong. A few inches later. So that's what the box looks like at the moment. And it's a super like a sturdy box and you can see like the amazing gold foil print that is on it and everything but <sighs> I'm so excited I'm gonna show you guys first <gasps> oh my god okay okay let's put this down so that's what we have at the moment oh that's so cool so oh this is what it says a light leading into a dream we shall forever be together in our dreams i promise love like my dreaming heart shining forever filled with red moonlight full moon and then says jiu sua shion handong yu hyun tami kayon okay oh this is literally the prettiest light stick situation I have seen. Mind you, I haven't seen very many, but the Stray Kids one, it just comes in a box. Like, at least that's what I've seen from people because I didn't get one, but that's beside the point. Let's open her up. Oh my God. Ugh, this is literally the cutest. I am dying right now. <gasps> Guys. It's rechargeable. It's rechargeable. <laughs> what the hell? There's some loose threads. Get back in there. Need to see the prettiness. So this, this is the situation that we're dealing with right this very second. How freaking cool is this light stick? I can't believe I own this. I know version two is out. This is version one and I couldn't find any version two um, around me. I, so I don't know what the situation was, but I'm really happy to have version one because I feel like it's always special when you have the first versions of light sticks or any sort of like merch. So I'm really happy to have version one, but let's, oh, I feel, how do I get this out? I don't want to grab the globe. Eh. First off, let's take out. These are <laughs> the amazing <laughs> extendable 
like you can literally buy more of these extensions and just have like a super like a staff for your light stick like you can just keep buying and literally have a staff how like I'm so trying so hard not to swear that way I won't get demonetized but this is literally the happiest day of my life <gasps> guys this is literally so cool So that's the inside of the light stick and it's just, does it move like the Stray Kids one does? I don't think it does, but it's so cool and I think, how do you then extend it onto this? I think you have to take this bit out. Maybe I should read the instructions, shouldn't I? But it's already charged a bit. Blue, red. That is so, that is, this is like the coolest day of my life. Well, apart from seeing Stray Kids in person for like three shows, but still, this is like, this is so bloody cool. I'm absolutely living. Let's turn that off. Okay, so of course with the stuff, get your little information pack. So, of course the whoop, wrist attachment, the USB-C charging cable instructions okay yeah so if you want to extend this you just take that part out and then that's where the charging port is and then add your staff extension if I can god i am like literally living my sailor moon fantasies right now with this light stick like literally you could use this at comic con any situation and it's just gonna look absolutely sick that's so cool so the cool part with this is that because it is rechargeable you don't have to worry so much that you're going to leave the batteries in it and it's going to like affect how well it's going to work in the future and all that sort of stuff so that's really cool does this say anything else that we need to know so there is the app cool so yeah dreamcatcher light stick is the app if you are interested does it say it in english huzzah it does yeah so bluetooth mode is available Mind you, the warranty as well is only valid in Korea. So if you are having issues, that might some might be something that you have to consider. Um, I feel like a lot of these products and stuff like that, it might be difficult with warranties unless the shop you purchased it from is super good at these sort of things. But yeah, this seriously. Guys, this is the coolest thing ever. Like, I can't believe I have a light stick. Like, I'm actually so, I'm so happy to have my very own light stick, but also that Dreamcatcher is my first light stick because yeah, like I said before, I've loved them so much and I'm glad I could also support them by having their light stick and I'm definitely going to be waving this during my TXT concert, so I'm going to be live, either live streaming that or at least having the replay up on 
uh, on Patreon. So I'll watch it and then upload that on Patreon just so we can watch my first TXT concert together so we can do that. And if there's any Dreamcatcher content that you want to see from me, please comment them down below because I'd really love to know what exactly what sort of content you'd like to see from me with Dreamcatcher. Because of course I've reacted to some of their new releases before. Also, I am thinking of doing an updated guide. So if there is an updated guide for Dreamcatcher that you would like me to react to, because I can always learn more about them, please comment that down below. Or you can DM me over on Twitter or tweet me or whatever. So that way we can get some really good guides because there's nothing worse than having to sit through a poorly made guide or a guide maybe that's a bit outdated so it doesn't have some new information on there for us so I'm so excited for that and yeah so thank you so much for unboxing this with me I really enjoyed it hopefully if you haven't seen my TXT album unboxing I'm just finished editing it so that will be up I'll link it up here um, or you can just find it on my channel so hopefully you enjoyed and <laughs> send positive thoughts to my jaw because it is absolutely killing me right now but I'm so excited but yes yeah, so thank you guys so much for being here I love you all and I'll see you in my next video bye